Hey everybody, and welcome to another PSPP tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to quickly learn how to import a CSV file, a comma separated file, comma separated value is what CSV stands for. And so here I have PSPP open, all ready to go. And so we're gonna go into, because and, and the reason why we're doing this is because this is a different process than open. So we go up to file and we go to import data over here in the corner. And it's gonna open up, <clears throat> excuse me. It's gonna open up um, the big old file dialog box for us to select a file to import. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and open up this Facebook friends CSV file. Now you might be familiar with this uh, particular data file. It is part of the data library from JASP and I've used it in some of my Jamovi and JASP videos. And we're gonna be using it in the next video. So we're gonna open up uh, Facebook friends, and you can use the search functions here to find whichever one you're looking for. And so we're going to click on that, and we are going to go down all the way over here and click next. <clears throat> and um, this is where, and you can see over here what the steps are for importing a CSV file, because a CSV file is a text file that is has values separated by commas and that's it it's comma separated value you can also have tab delimited files and and that sort of uh, that sort of thing where different cells in a spreadsheet function are going to interpret the commas as something different the next cell over and so it'll be able to use those commas as sort of cell dividers and so that's what we're going to do so our next task is to tell PSPP how many cases we want well we're going to just the default is all cases and that's what we're going to do but you can choose only the first number of cases or only the first percent of the file and it's going to be an approximate value so if you do 50 percent it might be 50 percent plus one if you have an odd number of cases so we're going to do all cases and then we're going to go down here and click next and it'll give us what the data looks like with just commas so all of our data with commas okay and we are going to select the first line what we want is what we want is um, the first line of data that contains data. So we want that. Line above selected contains variable names. You want to make sure that if your first line is already set up, so this is your first row in Excel or something like that, already set up with, uh, with your variable names, you want to make sure you check this box down here and you want to make sure that line two is the first line that contains data so it'll put these in column a column b column c column d or, or sorry this is 3.8 column a b and c or column friend participant and score now this is a little bit backwards to what i normally set up a data data file i usually set up participant number as the uh, the the leftmost one now we need to say what our separators are um and you can see that we have all different kinds of separators but of course csvs are comma separated so we're going to check that and as you see we've got line down here and we've got friend participant and score as our column headings are variable names and then we have all of the data now separated into those and we can now go ahead and click next and um this is where you just set up your variables so instead of jumping into the data set right away and having the two tabs down at the uh generally to the right of my face in these videos um you can do the setup here and so we can say what friends are. Friends is numeric. They're all numeric. 
and we can add labels. We can show, show decimals. And of course, we're going to um, increase this uh, value here to two decimals. And we're going to hit enter because there are decimals there. So we want to make sure that we get those in and then missing values and then what kind of uh, what kind of variables they are. And of course, with friends, and I'll go through what the friends variable actually means, but we actually want to change this to nominal because that's what they are. And I'll talk about that in the ANOVA video. And to finish up with this, you click apply. Uh, the output window will open and it will say it it'll do all the things that it said uh, that we said for it to do. And there it is in variable view. And there is all the data. Thanks for watching this PSPP tutorial video. If you have any comments, suggestions or feedback, please leave that down below. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.